Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. You're probably wondering why you're seeing this on the second channel. And the reason for that is this is a super small job. And I just didn't feel like it would make a good enough video. More than likely, you never know. But for the regular channel, this isn't an experiment. I'm not like going to do this regularly. This is an oddball thing that you might not see again for a while. Or maybe you will. I don't know if I get another really tight job. But um, this is a 100 square foot patio. Uh, we're going to be tripping over each other, stepping on each other's toes. I know some people are going to say, why would you do something like that? And let me explain. So sometimes you get calls for estimates. And occasionally this happens where a person will kind of mislead you because they know if they tell you what they actually want, you're probably not going to be interested in the job. So for instance, um, and I don't know, I have no idea if this was the case on this job. I always give people the benefit of the doubt, but this does happen. And on this job, I got called out for a patio. And what it actually was, was a very small addition to their existing patio. So when I bid a job like that, you have to bid it. You can't feel sorry for the people. Uh, it's a business. So you have to bid it where... You're going to bring all your guys there. You know, we're going to have six guys or whatever on this tiny little job. I'm bringing all my equipment. And then at the end, the business has to make the appropriate profit. So obviously a small job costs customers a lot of money. But if a customer is willing to pay the price, I will do the job. And, you know, in this scenario, that's what happened. And that's why we're doing the job. Um, some people might laugh. I really don't care. Um, I am making my money and just like I would on any big job, you know, during the during that particular day. So anyways, you guys know the routine. Uh, it's a beautiful Friday. It's just gorgeous out. We had a super hot summer, uh, but the last couple days, actually really this week, it's, it's cooled down. Uh, the weather's been nice. The concrete's been great to work with. It's just been a really good week. So, all right, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Quick trip. Morning, Joel. Good, how are you? You look busy. Always doing something. Yeah. I'm doing really good. <clears throat> And I see the house blend is completely filled to the top. Yes. Yes. Morning, Jessica. How are you? Good. Good. They got you at the register now? You're very they versatile. They have me everywhere. Oh, I see that. It's hard because you never get like good at something because you're always... Obviously they're, obviously, they're training you to take Dwayne's job though because... Yeah. Morning. Yep. I should probably let him know. So he can start looking. Uh -huh. So how are you this morning? Good. It's Friday, which is my favorite. Yes. Yes. And it's my birthday tomorrow, so it's definitely good. Happy birthday. Okay. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It is 6.09, and believe it or not, I just saw Eric pull in right in front of me. Daryl's here. Bugs is here. So you guys haven't seen the Mustang for a little while and the reason for that is it's been at a shop and we're gonna go pick it up today. So that's one cool thing we're gonna do today. Stay tuned. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be awesome, but I'm not positive because <laughs> I kind of left it into the in the hands of the guy that was doing it. Eric's here. And da -da 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 -da. Wait, what are you doing here? Out today. Hang out today. Yeah. <laughs> I told you not to. I told him not to come, and he comes. Uh, it's Man. Payday. And then when I tell him to come, they don't show up. Man. <laughs> you just oh, yeah. hey. You came because of payday. Yeah. Well, yes, okay. you did. I, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> you just can't get enough of us. I think. Oh. I think he loves us. Yep. <laughs> I know he says that why stay at home, but I guarantee you he's gonna want to get paid for today. That's good because we really, really needed another guy on this huge job. <laughs> yeah, now we're really gonna be in each other's way. Jade, 
Jay, what are you doing? What do you got now? Oh, this dog's this dog's always got something in her mouth. Yeah, she picks up trash for Oh yeah, she picks up trash. She probably wants to get paid too. Where's your dad? He didn't want to come out yet. Oh, he's what? sleeping? No, he, he's up, but he's too lazy to come out yet. <laughs> he's too lazy. Yeah. You know, that's bad when Daryl Jr. calls somebody lazy, right? Yeah. We got a big one today, Bugs. I hear. Yeah. It's a big patio, Jr. Oh, yeah. Huge. You got another free day? Two free days in one week? I told him. Must be nice. I told him not to come. Right. Well, I just wanted to and he shows up anyway. Just want, so you're yeah. working for free today? Well, I'm not working. I'm just here to hang out and look pretty. Wow. Huh. Well, that'll keep you busy. <laughs> what's, what's the difference from any other day? <laughs> oh, come on. Let's see what this guy's doing. Oh, he's on the phone in there. On the phone? It's cold out here. It is cold. All right, we are taking off. Everybody is here. Yes. All right, Daryl. That's right. Even you showed up and I didn't even ask you to. Nope. You, you said we're pouring that right away. You want to yeah, we need the buggy, yep. What about the pump truck? All right, I'm gonna go talk to this lady. You. Did you want to walk around and you kind of show me sure. what we got going on? To the to the window. Just go to the window. Yep. And then it would go out and then it would come from this corner here. Yep. And I I'd, I'd love it to kind of have an angle on the corner so you could just kind of mirror the other side over there. Okay, well that's fine. Yeah, that's no problem at all. Yeah, so I'm just All right, sounds good. So once the guys all get here, we'll start digging okay. and get it all done. Sounds good. Should be very, very easy. Okay. I don't know about all that, man. Let's just dig it by hand. Really? Yeah. I don't feel like doing all that. Messing up the lawn for what we're doing. It's coming, it's coming like this. Then we're putting a little angle here, and then it goes back to here. Power buggy off? Yeah, let's just dig it with shovels, with Shovel the power buggy. Power buggy I mean, this will literally take us like an hour to dig out, probably. Stop being lazy, Daryl. I'm not being lazy. Okay, good. We got extra shovels, don't worry. <laughs> Come on. Are you going to help? You're, are you helping? I'm not helping. All right, so, well, that's the project. We'll just dig it out by hand real quick and throw it in a power buggy. I don't feel like plywooding the whole lawn for like four buckets in the skid loader. And then we're gonna, you know, ding up her lawn a little bit. That's not worth it. Where you guys been? In the bathroom? All right, so I'm gonna lay this out with strings. We'll paint it out, start digging. Uh, I'm going to explain this a little bit more than I usually do because this is actually a project that maybe some of you homeowners are thinking about doing is extending a patio or extending a parking pad. It's all the same. So first thing, obviously, you got to determine where it's going to go. So I'm going to put some pins and run a string line to get my straight line and then I'll mark it out with paint. So we'll keep it square with the existing patio. Uh, this part is very simple. So we know on this side she wants it from the patio edge to the corner of this window trim. So we're going to measure that from the patio, which is 60, we'll call it 64 inches. So what I'll do now is I'll measure off the corner of this patio 64 inches so I know I got a parallel line. And I'll put another stake in. like that and I'm gonna extend this beyond so we call this ranging I have a parallel pin there so I'll just run the string until it hits that pin and then I'll put another pin out here to 
just like that. So that's my parallel line now. That's where we're digging. And I'll do the same thing on this edge of the patio. And then I'm gonna run a string right down the edge of these bricks. So I have one continuous straight line with the existing patio. So I'll take this string and I'll line it up with the edge of the patio and then I'll put a pin right there. Do this. I want to save the sod? save the sod and put it back today okay. so she really doesn't have to do anything yeah all right so I painted all the lines out now we know what we're doing now we're gonna start digging so we're gonna want to dig down about six inches on this one because we want a good solid two inches of gravel and four inches of concrete. But him and his wife split up. They did? Yeah. That quick? Yeah. Oh man. You gotta try to work it out, man. They were so happy on Facebook though. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's how everybody is. Yeah, that's how everything is. Everybody looks happy and then all of a sudden they're divorced the next week. Yep. Like, wow, what? Hey, you just gonna sit back here and talk to yourself all day? I'm not listening. This good, Brian? Uh, we'll just take clothes and then. Yeah, yeah, just like that. I want them nice and neat, just like Marcel's doing. I know how he got it like that. You gotta, you gotta dig. Turn, turn the shovel. You gotta right dig one, one oh, here, uh -huh. and then one here. Okay. Just like he's doing. Right. And then we just gotta dig the middle out. Are we doing okay? Hmm? Are we doing okay? Yeah, you gotta ah. It feels good being the boss. Right. Put that bucket down, please. There, you wanna you know, go dump it? For the job, really you think I should have brought a mini excavator for this? Yeah, why not? I got six <laughs> mini excavators right here. That looks perfect. So that's our elevation there. They just continued the same elevation as the existing patio, so that's really, really easy. And then we'll just follow the slope of the existing patio as we go down. So Daryl's just taking the power buggy, he's dumping it into the bucket of the skid loader and then dumping it in the truck. And that's it. If you're a homeowner, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do with the fill. So if your neighbors have bushes or something, maybe you could just go dump it in their bushes. Nobody would see. So you're saying your beard grows so fast? It did. I'm just shut up, Corey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's funny. It grows. I'm gonna let Ryan. Junior has more. Junior has more. Hey, supervisor. There's no room over there anymore for me, so I'm gonna stop digging. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna run a string here. I'm gonna get the elevation of this edge of the patio by lowering this string till it hits the existing patio. Down just a little bugs. Little bit more. Little bit more. That looks pretty good right there. 
So now our concrete will just be one continuous plane from their concrete. There won't be a, you know, a drop off or this won't be too high where the water doesn't run off. It should be just perfect. It's got about a quarter bubble on a level. That's the pitch you're looking for. A quarter of the bubble is hanging over that line. So if I lift this side of the level to level and then drop it down, quarter over, perfect. So now Bugs is set in the form right to the line that we have that establishes our straight edge and our elevation. So we'll put the corner of that 2x4 right on that string line, just like that. And when you set it, you want it, the line to be right to the 2x4, right on the corner, same elevation. If the string's up higher, that means your 2x4 is too low, or if it's a little high, you pound the 2x4 down. Easy. We use steel pins, but you can also use two by four wooden stakes if you don't want to buy pins, which if you're only doing one job, you're not going to want to buy pins because they are expensive. Here, here, put a mark here, put a two by four across. Yep. Got it. Man, Bugs is an animal. He's setting all the forms by himself today. We're going to put our gravel base in now. Our elevations are all established. Bugs drilled the holes and we're going to put steel dowels in there. All right, Daryl's back with gravel, and Bugs is ripping around with the power buggy. We're gonna throw some gravel here and get this graded. Morning, hey, Petey. How's, how's it going? How you doing? Are you guys here to spray the lawn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, we're, we're not gonna do it today. Okay. Today yeah, cause we don't want no cancer or nothing, man. Can I take a picture with you? Picture with me? Why? Yeah, You're a star, man. Yeah, I'm a star. Come on. Of course. Hey, my phone. Man. Got it? Thank you. All right. It. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I'll put you guys on. I'll put you guys on this video. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, you got to get me. It's going to be on this. Of course, man. On, man. Man, you look good. Look at these arms. Look, guy, man. Like, of course I'm going to put this on the video. Yeah, man, what's he got? 18 inch guns right there. Yeah, man. Got, uh, I run a uh, youth mentoring organization in Milwaukee called Saving Our Sons. So, Do you really? Yeah, man. I'll give you my That's uh, awesome. business card. But appreciate it, man. All right, man. Well, you guys have a good day. Sorry yeah, I was in here. Sorry yeah. I was in your way, though. No, he's good. No, <laughs> come on. All right, see you guys. Uh, yeah, well, no, not, well, here, and here a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're putting gravel in. Gravel acts as a base for the concrete. It allows drainage of water underneath the concrete, and then we'll compact it with that machine right there. That's called a vibratory plate compactor, and it vibrates, it's very heavy, and it smashes the gravel down so you have a good firm base for that new slab to set on. It's really, really important. So we're just grading it out right now and make sure we get a solid four, four and a half inches. And then we'll compact it, put our reinforcement in, and then it's pretty much ready to pour. Daryl, yes. I have a, like a serious question for you. Yeah. How did you get a gr big grease spot right on your belly? <laughs> Tell me the truth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something with you and grease. I know it. It's, it's like it, peanut it, butter and jelly. It, it, exactly, <laughs> that's the truth. It's just like, I don't know. All right, so Daryl and Bugs are just putting in some wire mesh. I'm also gonna put a rebar around the corner into this triangle here, because this triangle is gonna wanna break off. Yep. Do we have a couple rebar we can bend? I'm sure we can get some. And then one all the way up into this corner so it doesn't snap off. I have a concrete order for noon. Uh, you don't happen to have any trucks sitting around with a driver sleeping in them, do you? All right. Um, yeah, if, if you get anything that comes in, like we're ready to go, I need like two and a half yards. Um, so if you get anybody that comes in or there's a truck that, cause we're gonna, we'll get it emptied and back to you like very fast and we're close to you. So yeah, just, uh, you got my number and everything? 
Alright, sounds good. It's all methamphetamine. Thank you. Bye. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's crazy. So they're uh they're gonna oh they're trying, yeah. So I don't know. He doesn't know right now. I want to get this like all the way in the corner so this thing doesn't go on us like right there Victory this is Ryan All right Oh we're ready what I mean whatever you can do for us you know I'm I'm grateful Yep. Yeah, two and a half yards. Give me a seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, four inch slump. And give me like, give me like 2% NCA. Sounds good. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Ryan. Yep, bye bye. It's coming in one hour. All right, so I didn't have concrete till noon, and it's only nine o'clock right now. But I called my supply company, Schmitz, and I told them, please, 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 can I get some concrete earlier? And I'll get the concrete empty and get your truck back quick. And they could just call me back, and they're going to have it here in an hour. So that's just saved us like a couple hours, which is awesome. Schmitz takes good care of me, man. I appreciate that. You guys busy? Very busy. All right, I got Ryan. I got Ryan on the phone. Well, you guys got a walkie-talkie app? We got the kilo ready. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hey, Ryan, say something. Just push the button. The kilo ready. What's up? What's <laughs> up? What's going on? We got it ready. We got everything ready. That's cool, dude. Where you at, though? Right here. In the same spot. Bro. <laughs> He's just messing What app around. is that? No, it's, uh, it's called... Well, Francisco had it, and I just downloaded it, and we just started talking this walkie-talkie community. Oh, yeah. That's funny. That's fun. Hey, bro, he's right there. Why don't you just talk to him in person? <laughs> I don't know. You guys just like the walkie-talkie yeah, app? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Francisco, you need anything for the phone truck? <laughs> <laughs> what you eating, Daryl? Meatballs. What, meatballs. What's this? Oh. SpaghettiOs! SpaghettiOs That's got to be for Junior. I didn't have concrete till noon because I ordered it last week. I didn't know what we were doing. Oh, okay. So I order at eight and noon, and and most of the time it works, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I see what you're saying. He wants me to buy a passenger van, conversion van, just for our trip to Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Concrete's here. Morning. Morning. How are you? Alright. Hey, I heard no more Saturdays for you guys. Yeah. That's true, right? So far. Yeah. Uh, how long or what? Probably the rest of this season. Yeah. So because of the cement shortage which is hitting us here in Wisconsin now. Schmitz shut down on Saturdays where usually they would deliver concrete on Saturdays. Gotta get all this dirt out of here. We don't want any of that dirt in our concrete at all. Here we go. Man, I'm nervous. My heart's beating. I don't want this one to get away. I know, it's a big one. I got those butterflies. Yep. yep. Are you going to help at all? Not today. Three puddlers in a five foot section. I think we need one more guy.
Hey, move that so your dad can come over here with the power buggy. I'll shovel it in. Just take the whole. Take the pull off. Yeah, but don't do that. Look what you're doing to the concrete. There you go. Just stand over there. No, 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 no. Junior. Junior, look at what you're doing to the concrete now. Murr. Stand over there. You were doing so good too, brother. Now look what you're going to. Uh. Hey, when you're done, just. Just leave it flat on the concrete like this. Away from the that way it doesn't dry out on the bottom. Right. It keeps it moist. The driver was saying there's a lot of guys complaining the guys that do side jobs on Saturdays, they can't get any concrete on Saturdays now. None. It's, it, it's over. No, they all shut it off Saturdays. Yeah. This is a lot of concrete here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually do the bigger job. <laughs> yeah, normally we only do small jobs, nothing this big. I was gonna say yeah. Something you couldn't handle as you're off and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty nervous right now. We're not gonna be able to, you know, finish it out right. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I brought I brought extra manpower today. I brought the supervisor just to make sure everything goes right. And he has been bossing us around quite a bit already today. Exactly. All right, still concrete down. Guys are doing what they do best. Buck is over there, helping me out, supervising. Buck, right there. Easy job. I barely did anything. Very easy. Yeah, everyone barely did anything today. <laughs> it was Friday, so, which is the best. Can carry you to the truck? Hey, carry what? Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. I can carry it. I think you... Ryan Trick was on the opposite side. Man, I can't even get my hand halfway around his arm. You got you got some big guns. He is strong. Dude, look at the size of... Look at the size of his arm. Eric. No. Yeah, but you look good. Right? I still gotta put your name right here, Daryl Jr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you got the metal. Oh, oh you, can, don't steal so. you can get it right down the street from yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you for that, you know. Good. Because uh, these are pretty. Oh, I welded all this. I made all this. All this rack for the tools. Yeah, I need a rack like that. Because I put that rack on the other side because I would. I would take all my lumber from there, mm -hmm. and then I had all my hand tools, I had all my pins here, and then the toolbox on the other side had all like string lines and stuff like that. So I could take, I could literally take this truck to the job, excavate, set up everything with one truck. That's what I'm trying to do. One truck and trailer. I'm going slowly. Slowly but Cause then I could go set up all alone, and I used, I used to, I used to set up all by myself. Manager, he wants to rescue you. Remember? What did you just say? I he, picked you up before. You want to pick me up? Why? Show him that I'm strong. Okay. It doesn't need to piss him Show off. the world how strong you are. Alright. Oh. 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 Did you see that? Yeah. And I'm no I'm not light. Junior's a beast. <laughs> he picked his belly. <laughs> I know. He used the leverage and everything. Did you see that? What? Look it. Junior picks me right up like I'm not like I'm a lightweight. Look. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hey, next time Bugs are standing there, just pick him up like that. I, I think he would love it. Oh, no. Right, Francisco? Yeah, he, would. <laughs> he would love it. It's tightening up pretty good, Ryan. Yep. Not as fast as I thought, though. No, but I thought it was going to go crazy. It's got 2% and it's a 7 bag. But it ain't going crazy. It's setting up slower than our 6 bag sometimes does. Yeah. 
So Junior said I should just charter a private jet for us for Las Vegas. Charter what? Charter a private jet. I told you that. Oh yeah, you said that. Yeah. Yeah. So it says between five thousand six hundred and eleven thousand dollars. No. There's an hour. Per hour. No. Per hour. No way. I found people who corporate companies that or people who are canceling at the last time. I, I checked into it, and their flights were somewhere cheaper than. Why did you check into private jets? Because I wanted to take a flight. Do you do you have a secret life I don't know about? <laughs> You're gonna fly us yeah. one by one. Yeah. Who wants to die first? <laughs> take you. Hey, no take way. take Junior first. No, I'm not dying. I'm not. <laughs> You're not gonna die. You're gonna fly your father-in-law's ultralight plane yeah. from here to Las Vegas. That really sounds like a good idea, right, Daryl? No. Hey, it's not. Marcel, would you ride the ultralight with me? To Vegas? What? Would you ride the I'll ultralight on the ground. with me to Vegas? No. Yeah. Daryl, I promise you I would never on. go on an airplane if you were the pilot. Why? Never. Why? Would you? No. Yeah, you would. Hey, Eric. Daryl's father-in-law has an ultralight plane, and Daryl said he could fly us to Vegas. He would be the pilot. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Won't even go like this. No, right I'm be able to put it down. Did you ever see that movie Alive, Eric? No. Where that plane crashed in the Andes? Yeah. I, did. I think it was a soccer team or something, wasn't it? It was. It was a sports team of some kind. Yeah, and it, it, true it's a dead people. Yeah, true story. So we're just putting these chunks of sod back in around the edges. I told her we'd do the best we can. Whoa. She's she's gonna bring a little topsoil. That's a big one, Daryl. Mm. It's coming after you. You better watch out. That's huge. Daryl. Man, look at that one though. <laughs> that one's like perfect. She wouldn't even know. Why do we have so much extra? Oh, you need some more over there. Yeah. I just got it out of the way because this is what I cut. I got tons over here. Just rake up on the edge here. And then uh, there's a shovel. Marcel has a shovel. We'll put it over there. Yeah. Easy money. Man. Eric, you saved the day. Okay. Hey, we knocked that out. We knocked it out. Easy. Hey, you look good with the dog, but obviously you need a way bigger pit bull. <laughs> Big, right, yeah. That needs to be rinsed, you, put away. Bro. Thank you. Done with the blower. Done with everything. All right, I'm gonna watch this dry. Okay. <laughs> How long are you gonna wait? Hour. We gotta go get the Mustang. We don't have time for that. So we're done. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, when did you want to pay me? Are you kidding me? Oh, Do you think I would destroy my reputation for ten min for ten minutes of work? Come on. <laughs> of course. I broomed it as light as possible. That's about as light a broom as you can put on. Well, thank you for the work. I told you it was gonna be very easy. Good. All right. Good. So I'll text you tonight the address and stuff if you want to come tomorrow. All right. Ready? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. All right, so it is, what time is it, Daryl? I don't think 12. Yep, 11.45. And uh, we're gonna go pick up the Mustang. Right? Yes! I gotta stop at my house first because I need my checkbook. I forgot my checkbook, checkbook this morning. The other guys are all paid. Eric's over there with his white pickup truck. He's taking uh, my power buggy 
to go pour one of his side jobs this afternoon. He's been, I haven't just been giving him the equipment to use, I've been renting him the, the, him the equipment for a special price. But uh, Francisco's going with him too to give him a hand, and then Bugs and Marcel left, so. Let's go get the car. Yeah. Oh, you are so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Look at you. Oh, oh, grease. Oh, sorry. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't grease my cat, Daryl. Oh, there's grease all the way. Oh, right on the white fur. <laughs> Your wife is like, what the heck? Yeah. So I stopped at home to grab my checkbook. I know oh, Daryl Jr. Daddy. loves cats, so I thought I'd Hi. show him Annie. That's oh. Annie. Hi, Annie. Don't let her go, though. Oh, hi. Wanna come home with me? <laughs> Not Hi. today. Hi. Oh, we used to take she's Daniel fix, with right? us. Look at she it. loves kittens. No, she's not having kittens. Come on. No, sir. Don't you take her home? Wow, she's so adorable. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, she's come really on. nice. Like, I don't have kittens, man. Don't like you take her home? See, uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> you go, Amy. Go home. She likes you. Yeah. She's a nice cat. And she likes you too. Yeah. No. Alright, you gotta go back inside. Sorry. We don't want to lose you. Here we go. Hey, can you put the window lock? Okay, I did. Yeah. Alright, we're here picking up the Mustang. Nice. Yeah. That looks cool. That looks good. You like it? Oh yeah. <laughs> looks great. <laughs> I think so too. All right, we are here picking up the car. It looks super nice. I'll get you a better, closer look at it. It looks so different. Look at that. Look at how it kind of fades in and out when you walk by it. Got the back done too. Did you see the back? You give it the thumbs up or no? Two, Two thumbs, thumbs up. up. All right. Yeah. What do you think? I think 10 thumbs up. <laughs> that is sick. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh. I like it a lot. So I have some work to do this car. The suspension in the front, it's something's banging, it's loose. I gotta change the oil. So I gotta go pay this guy. I don't even know what this costs. I never asked. Hopefully not too much. But I like it. You, knew, you gotta you wait to unveil it. You gotta, yeah, you gotta exactly. Like yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, man. All right, appreciate All right. it. Yep. Nice, work. Guys. nice work. Nice work, Dan. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Have a good one. All right, you too. This thing. I know. Oh, it's getting watched today. Okay. Well, we're taking it tomorrow, so. Have a good Thanks. the car home to show my family and the sheriff came out how's it going good you're not gonna arrest us are you no just sit there i'll destroy something and then your video oh, wow you said you destroy right one more thing heart. you're going straight to prison all right i won't do you like it though do you like it yeah cool yeah yeah it, you don't amazing. really seem all that impressed not really it's okay? Yeah. <laughs> Want me to take it for a drive? Well, Daniel's not really that impressed. He said it's okay. All right, we're going back to the yard. Our day is just about over. See you, Sheriff. Adios. Adios.
All right, I just dropped the Daryls off here at the yard. Everybody is done. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.